Hey guys, welcome back to another swatch video. If you are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. For today's video, we're gonna be swatching Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty. This is the best of Rare Beauty from Selena Gomez, if you guys haven't found that out already. So this is a travel size mini lip souffle matte lip cream. There are two matte lip creams in this set. And we're gonna go ahead and open it just so we can see what the size is like. These are so cute. And it's like a soft touch packaging, which is really nice. So these are the two mini colors. So there is Inspire and then there is Fearless. Inspire is described as a bright red and Fearless is described as a mauve rose. So let's just jump right into the swatches. So I want to start with Inspire, which is the bright red. Doesn't seem like there's a scent to me. It's very, very subtle. So I cannot pinpoint like an actual flavor or you know an actual scent so I would describe it as scentless so this is one application I could do one but I think I want to do one more application I suppose the idea is to get like a flush of color on your lips so I just want to put one more layer just to see if that'll make a difference, if it'll make the color stand out more. Not that this is bad right now. I'm just looking for a little bit more coverage. Let's see if we're able to get that with another layer. And you certainly can. So this product is buildable. So these are described as a weightless whipped mousse formula. Guys, I like what I see here. So the second shade is called Fearless. Ooh, I like this already. Like I said, for those of you who are just looking for that subtle flush of color, one layer is great like you don't have to do anything else this will work for you but I want to do another layer I feel like that's what I'm comfortable with not that I wouldn't wear this the way it is of course I would yes you can tell that it's high quality it's the formula is like next level amazing it feels like put in melted butter on pancakes it just absorbs it i just don't know how to describe it but this formula is really on another level and i am here for it so now that we've swatched these two colors let's talk about some of the claims is it ultra hydrating? Absolutely. These lipsticks are on another level of hydration. We can throw Krusty Lips 2020 out the window. I kid you not, they feel so good on the lips and I can tell that my lips will be very moisturized after wearing these lipsticks. Is it weightless? Yes it is. It doesn't feel like there is anything on my lips completely weightless and completely comfortable is it high impact well that depends so it depends on what you're looking for from what you saw when i did one layer it was like a subtle at least to me it was a subtle flush of color so if you're going for that bare minimum look then one layer is fine and i feel like you can even blot it out with your fingers just to give you that perfectly imperfect finish but if you want a more high impact color these shades are buildable you can definitely get the look that you desire and i am comfortable with two layers but i'm certainly not against one layer because i would rock it with one layer as well so i can go either way uh, it also goes to say that it has a velvety matte finish 
that part I am concerned about because these lipsticks feel so so hydrating that I don't think they're gonna be as long lasting. Normally, matte lipsticks are long lasting. They There is a correlation between the two with matte and long lasting. And these are described as a velvet matte. We know that there is creamy mattes and there are ultra mattes and ultra mattes are the more long lasting lipsticks clearly. So I feel like velvet is leaning more towards the creamy finish and normally those don't last as long as the ultras. So that's what we are going to find out. So let's not be too quick to judge. We have to find out how long these lipsticks are going to last. As a matter of fact, let me do a drink test here. Um, well, so we got lip stains already, and that's what I'm saying. I don't feel like these are going to be long lasting, but we'll find out because I'm going to wear this shade for the rest of the day. I have a very long day, 11.24 a.m., and I will be back later tonight to fill you guys in on how this lipstick performed. And I cannot wait. You guys would not want to miss this. So I'll check in with you guys later. So I am back after wearing this lipstick for the entire day. Let's do a time check right now. It is exactly 10 p.m. And I put this lipstick on around 11 this morning. And this is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like fresh and this is what it looks like after so many hours of wearing and that's the reason why I wanted two layers of this lipstick because I knew I was planning on wearing it for a long time as well so I think if you only wear one layer it's not gonna last for as long of a time as it did mine. So I put the lipstick on around 11 a.m. By 3 or 4 p.m. it started to fade. It wasn't as pigmented as a fresh swatch. So um, that's what I noticed after, you know, three or four hours. So 11, 12, one, two, three. Yep, so four or five hours it was a little faded. And that was from wearing two layers. So like I said, if you just, choose to wear one layer this lipstick is not going to last a very long time so you will have to reapply it which honestly is no big deal to me i never have an issue reapplying lipstick if i am looking for something hydrating and moisturizing so but as you can see um, there is still a little bit of the lipstick left on my lips after wearing it for 11 hours straight did not reapply because I want to give you guys an honest review of what you will expect if you choose to purchase this lipstick and wear it out so yeah this is what is on my lips and to give you a better view let's just wipe off a little bit of it to see if there's actually anything there and there it is. The lipstick is still there on my lips after 11 hours. So I like doing this because you can actually see the lipstick coming off my lips. Sometimes it's hard to tell on camera if I still have the lipstick on, but I know I do because I can see it in my mirror in front of me. But for you guys, you may not be able to see it. So using a makeup wipe helps to validate that, hey, I still have lipstick on my lips. Do my lips still feel hydrated? Absolutely, it still feels, it doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel cracky. There is still moisture on my lips after all this time. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable that my lips still feel very soft and look and feel healthy. I am very, very impressed by these lipsticks 
that you guys should definitely try them. I do recommend them. They are amazing. But that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I sure did. Don't forget to go ahead and click the subscribe button because it does help my channel a lot. It helps me to provide more content like this for you guys because I do enjoy doing these and I think it helps you to decide on which lipsticks may or may not work for you so that you don't waste your money in the end. So I really appreciate you guys watching and subscribing and I promise I will continue to provide more content uh, for you guys. But that's all I got for tonight and I will catch you guys in my next swatch video. Bye.